Yo, yo, what's up, people? This is the Fly Roadside Guy checking in one time for the one. You know how we do. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, check it. Um, it's out here on this hourly job today. You know how we love them hourlies. And, um, ooh, got my partner in drive with me, wifey in the back. Um, so we just chilling right now. Uh, let me see. I'm going to try to answer some questions because uh, people been kind of leaving comments, and I, you know, I apologize to my subscribers and everybody that's out there following me. Sometimes I don't get to um, answer back all the questions immediately. Um, so I'm just trying to. Uh, catch up on things so to speak especially while I'm just sitting here chilling I got a load on my back right now oh. hold on hello oh yeah no doubt no doubt just, you know what I mean I, like I said I was just tapping and touching base and making sure everything was kosher Ah, right. okay. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, that was one of my partners who actually um he actually got this job for real. I mean, it's been slow pace. Um. So I had called him because I'm like, well, damn, y'all been you've been over here for like, shit, almost three hours. It'll be three hours in like 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, I got a load, but at the end of the day, they haven't uh, showed up and told us where to dump it. So it's cool, even though, you know, I'm in the right location. But that was my man just calling me, let me know that they was on their way. They're probably moving some equipment or whatever. But guess what? My hit, my truck is here. The wheels ain't turning, but we still earning, baby. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me let me try to get some of these questions. Uh, let's see. I didn't answer. I haven't responded. And this company called Truck Movers of Victory. The company is called Truck Movers at Lewis Rich 3515. That's when I used to work with Truck Movers. I haven't really transported any trucks in a minute. But I am going to get back onto my driveway shit because we're about to go into the slow season, the dump truck. You always want to have something to kind of maintain and keep you busy. Uh, let's see. Dealing with new truck glitches, do you have your own authority? Yes, I do. How do I contact you? I'm a driver. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, shoot me an email. Um, how do you find work? The State Department of Transportation. You can also go to different job sites. Get business cards, hand them out. Um, you know, try to get in the business, even if you need to become a driver and learn the dump truck business. Can you say where you get work at in the Atlanta area with your own dump truck? Um, I get work all over Atlanta. Uh, I'm, I'm signed over with a couple contractors. I don't always, you know, run with them the majority of the time. You got to kind of spread it out. Because some contractors might pay net 30 every two weeks. Some contractors pay every week. Some contractors might not have no work for you. Sometimes the weather affects it. Sometimes they got to run their trucks first before they can even reach out to these subcontractors. So, you know, I was on a job actually for the uh, city. One of my uh, broker guys got a job and he called me and said, hey, man, I'm going to need two trucks every day. You know, it's paying hourly. Was paying ninety five an hour, which was good, but you know we probably maybe got job been going for three weeks, four weeks roughly. I probably worked two weeks. The weather did play a part, and you know it's still kind of a new job, so we fit filling everything out, I guess, so to speak. But you know, like I say, if it ain't for the fact that I have other contractors that I'm signed on to. And the ability to, you know, network is important. 
you know, find another job to keep that truck moving. And if the truck ain't turning, your wheels ain't turning, you ain't earning. Although, my truck is sitting and I'm earning, but it's an hourly job and they chilling, yo, so that's what it is. Um, let's see. How do you find work? Give me a quick question. If you start around six or seven, I think I answered that. If you start around six or seven, how long would it would you have to stay out to make one K? Depends on what the job is paying, bro. Hey, what's up, man? I'm about to buy a triaxle dump truck and get started on working for myself. As you are doing, hey, how do I get loads? How did you get put on this job? Um, let me shout out. Um. I'm going to shout out uh, one guy that I follow, man, the country CEO. Um, watching some of his videos, man, I got a lot of information on, you know, the dump truck business. Although I was in it, I was pursuing the opportunity to run my own business and get my own truck. So, you know, even from his information about how you find work, Department of Transportation, truck specs, I mean... I actually put one of my um, good brothers on to his channel, and that brother of mine is actually about to get into the dump truck business as well. So, anybody that's listening to my channel, hey, check out the country CEO. Um, he can put you up on game, you know what I'm saying? Did you get that? Um, go to the next one. Well, I mean, there's a lot of questions. Like I said, I'm sorry if I didn't... Um, Answer all your questions. Some some of them are saying the same thing. How you find work? Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna read this one because this guy's just venting for real. But he's talking about um, I guess how he was a transporter and you know he's just venting. Uh, you from Baltimore? Yes, I'm from Baltimore. Do you know anything about Norton Drive Away? Um, Norton's a good company. Haven't drove with them, but I heard good things about Norton Drive Away. I'm actually, like I say, when I get back in the drive away, I'm thinking about signing on with Norton. Uh, let's see here. Teach me all you know, fam. I'm about to start with TM soon. Well, if you're going to start with TM, make sure you start with them and sign on with other drive away companies, bro. Trust me. And that's another thing. Like, even though, I, you know, I want to get back in the drive away is, you know, side hustle, you know what I mean? Here and there, you know, transport or whatever. I really don't want to do it unless I got a, um, unless I got a tow car, man. Like, I don't even know if I really feel like dealing with the headache. It's cool every now and then, you know, but. I just don't want to have to deal with the whole, you know, catching a ride here and then, trying to politic. It's not bad if you get the rate that you're looking for and the rate that you want. It's not bad. But I've been doing driveway for so long, I just feel like, man, I can easily just get a tow car and maneuver a little bit better. And that's what I plan on doing. But uh, like I said, I'm going to keep this video short. I think my, my partner Ron just pulled up. Let's go check and see what she's doing. Oh. Like I said, we chilling out here. Hourly job. I just got my hood up, catching some, some air for real. Catching some air, catching some air. Although I gotta take it back. Let's see what she trying to say. Partner in drive. Alright, so it looks like we're going to make a move. Um, we've been here for a couple of hours, I guess. They sent us to a different dump location to go ahead and dump off this load. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want some more information, leave a comment. And uh, I'm out.